Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Look at the consistency there. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm back on schedule. Let's not jinx it. <laughs> Yeah, you guys know that I started lithium um, on <laughs> You guys it is so bad every single video I'm not sure if you guys have caught this or like if I like edited this out But I'm on 300 milligram tablets of lithium and I take three uh, of those So like in each video I haven't been able to do the math right and I've been like three times three like I like for some reason like kept on thinking it was like 12 <laughs> I'm really bad at math, so I'm pretty sure like I said 1200 milligrams. That's like false. Three times three is nine mm, Yeah, it's nine. It's nine and I'm on 900 milligrams uh, So I've been on 900 milligrams, which is my full dose as of right now until I see my psychiatrist next um, but it has been Interesting I like this has been like my favorite medication so far for bipolar disorder um, I was super super nervous just because like, I am super super nervous about medicine because I like don't like the idea that like I'm putting something Negative not negative. I'm putting something like forward in my body um, And like if my friends are watching this, they're probably like What are you talking about? Like you put so many foreign things in your body <laughs> or you have put so many things foreign things in your body And I know I know I know but for medicines It's like lithium had all of these different side effects that I was reading about before I took it and it wasn't like the side effects were rare <laughs> it's like a lot of people were getting them and which is why it's not like prescribed as often as it used to be It's still prescribed like a ton. And I think it's still considered like the like holy grail or the I don't know the, the, the It's still considered like the predominant <laughs> It's still considered the predominant way of treating bipolar disorder. I believe but anyway I was super nervous about that super nervous about any medications. I'm taking uh, but this has been the best one uh, so I've been on Abilify, which made me super tired, and I, I was falling asleep at the dinner table. It wasn't like I was drowsy. It's like I couldn't keep my eyes open, and like I felt like a child, cause like it was it was bad. Um, it also made me urinate frequently, like all the time, and I hadn't been drinking water, so I don't like even know where that was coming from. Uh, and then I also took Tegretol. Uh, this was about like in the summer. Tegretol made my skin break out into rashes and gave me warts in my mouth. So that sucks. That was probably the worst one and I never like I, and I was worried about that. Um, so lithium now <laughs> Side effects have started to come in. So I sometimes have hand, hand tremors uh, Like and that doesn't really bother me like I don't really care um, Like I'm like I think one time I was trying to like record something and it was annoying because like I couldn't take the picture or like I couldn't videotape but like eh, whatever like recently it's been causing me to like be nauseous and like I've been vomiting at the same time um, Which scared the crap out of me the first time it happened. This was Maybe about like I've been on like the full dosage for about like a week now um, But this happened like let's say like last weekend or whatever was the first time and I thought maybe No, I think no the first time sorry the first time that like I got nauseous and I threw up was like the second day that I had upped the dosage to like my full like my full levels of dosages or <laughs> my like my my highest level um so my full dose uh and I got nauseous and I threw up and I thought that you know maybe like I was because of the coffee that I drank you're not supposed to drink coffee I learned that um after I like I googled it which you know it, it could have been because of the coffee but then I also thought like hey I just reached to like my full dose um I threw up and I was nauseous maybe this is like lithium toxicity and like maybe like <laughs> this, this is how I die. Um, that's basically what was going through my mind. But at the same time, like beyond that, my actual mood was like great um, in the sense that like, I mean, I wasn't manic and I wasn't like depressed and it's been steady like all month of April, which has been amazing. So, you know, I was like, eh, you know what, it's fine. Plus the next day and the next day and the next day, basically a few days after that, I was fine. No problems, no problems whatsoever. And then the nausea and vomiting happened again. Um, this time much worse. It lasted like all night. My friend was here and he was just like, yo, like, what, <laughs> what, are you okay? Like he didn't even, I don't, I don't think he even like asked me if I was okay. Cause like, he obviously could see that I wasn't. And like, I like wasn't like, and I knew I wasn't okay. And he was like, 
I'm not just gonna say like, hey, are you okay? I'm not just gonna be like, what do you think? <laughs> so like, I kind of like just quietly like sat on the couch over there and died. Um, but like, I didn't go to the hospital because like, I kind of felt better after the first time that I threw up. I feel very weird about saying throw up because I feel like regurgitate is too formal, but throw up is like too informal and it just sounds like gross. But that night, I like started feeling better, you know, uh, like was still throwing up though, still nauseous. Um, and it lasted into the morning, but like it was like going away. So I was like, you know what? Um, cool. I don't think I have like lithium toxicity. I think I'm fine. Mind you, I like was a few days late for my blood tests and my blood work. Those came back all normal, which is great. I just got those done because two days ago, <laughs> the vomiting and nausea happened again. So like at that point, I was like, all right, this obviously like I I don't I don't know. And like it was all fun and games at first. Like my mood is still fine, but like <laughs> like I hate vomiting. I hate it so much. It like it hurts it hurts so much um and especially like when you i'm not gonna get into it that's why it's gross i'm just thinking in my head um so like i went in for blood work and i was like yeah i need to like it's like past time i like i've just been busy and like maybe haven't been like the best like the most mature about taking this medicine considering that this is an extremely powerful drug and i was already worried about the side effects and like worried about all these things so the least i could do is like go in for like a blood test like i'm supposed to um, but that came back normal. There's nothing wrong with my thyroid. There's nothing wrong with my blood. So the lithium doesn't seem to be like poisoning me. Um, but like they can't figure out like why I'm nauseous <laughs> and why I'm vomiting and why it only happens on certain nights. So last night I tried to make sure uh, my good friend Allie told me that, you know, I should be eating when uh, I take my medicine, which like I'm pretty sure that like, I have been because I like, you know, take it at night. Um, like around 11 p.m. and by that time I'm typically like snacking on something while in front of the TV or like, before I go to bed Not what I'm supposed to be doing um, Whatever <laughs> because of like the blue light and it keeps you up blah, blah, blah. Um, But that's what I do. I sit in front of the TV and watch Netflix and eat so I took the lithium with food last night. I did nothing happened um, I felt you know, I, I felt okay, but I'm starting to think maybe like, you know, it's the I'm not, maybe I'm not taking maybe I'm not I'm starting to think maybe I'm not like eating food with it and maybe that's why I'm feeling nauseous slash like throwing up. Um, so I'm gonna try to be very mindful about like how I take um, my medications and like making sure that I take it like with food, like not afterwards because in my mind, if I ate dinner at like six or like 7 p.m., then like taking it at 11 p.m. is fine. <laughs> um, maybe not because like I've been throwing up and stuff. Um, probably not, so I'm gonna test this little theory. I see my psychiatrist again in like two weeks. So if I like, well, if I throw up and feel nauseous again, like the next time I'm gonna have to like call him and be like, I can't, I can't, <laughs> it's just like weird. Um, but hopefully it doesn't do that because I think it's working. Um, this is like the point in time, like when it should be working. Um, and it's been great so far. Another thing I'm realizing is that like, so before like you know and it definitely could have been this this definitely could have been the problem um but when i was dying like when i was diagnosed as bipolar and like my symptoms started getting worse i was like school is getting harder because it's harder for me to concentrate um like i'm depressed certain weeks or certain times of the year and then I'm, like i'm super manic and don't even know what's going on and i'm like buying things and like starting like these new projects that have nothing to do with school i'm not even focused on school um, and like I had all of these different things my mood was going back and forth which prevented me from doing work or at least that's the excuse that I used and now that my mood is stable I like don't want to do work I still don't want to do work so that's like when you just realize that you're like a shitty human <laughs> um, I don't really know what it is I mean I am doing my work I have I mean, I'm getting it done but it's like super super slow um, I have no motivation to do anything I'm not sure if that's just like my personality which is like kind of sad to hear because that's not how I remember myself like pre like bipolar era. I remember myself being very driven, but it could also just be senioritis. I don't know. So it's just like, I am trying to do everything that I can. And I think now that like my mood is stable, I can focus on bettering my own habits. So like eating better, sleeping on time, not drinking, um, you know, doing the work I need to do, time management, all these things I can now focus on because my mood is stable. And I think that's the purpose of medication. It's not like lithium was gonna make me like fix my life and make everything, all my problems go away. I still have problems, um, still the same person. I just, you know, don't have to worry about like 
dealing with all these problems at the same time as like dealing like fighting with it inside my mind and that's the biggest piece so i think that's like the biggest hurdle um now is just like management strategies for life and that sounds like every normal 20 year old which is a relief all right you guys i'll hit you all back with another video remember to like share comment and subscribe i love to hear from you guys it makes this all like worthwhile um hearing that you guys you know can connect to what i'm saying you guys give me advice on what i'm saying um this is like what i really wanted to do i wanted to start a conversation around mental health that is open and unapologetic unapolo unapologetic <laughs> all right see you guys later